Hey, this is Swagger's doing Pokemon White version for SuperCheats.com. We're in the actual forest part of Pinwheel Forest. Um, a lot of this is trainers and that sort of thing. You meet uh, Berg here, and he's like, hey, there's this road that goes straight through, or you can go through the forest. I'm going to take the road, which is literally like just 10 feet up. You take the forest, which takes about 20 minutes to go around. Yeah, thanks, Berg. Um, I'm just showing this trainer one because it's a uh, two-on-two -two battle, so... Those are always interesting, but I'm just going to start showing you the unique uh, trainers and, uh, you know, where that type of stuff pops out at. This is also, there's a lot more doubles and stuff like that around here. Also in this main forest here is Patillion. Um, you may remember that these two are locked to white or black, so I'm getting uh, Patilia here. If you're playing black, you get Cottony. Um, then you can take the one you get, like here, I'll take Patilia. You can take him back to Narsene City and trade for the Cotton Tea and then come back and get another Patilion. So that's exclusive to white and black. You would take your Cotton Tea and trade it for the Patilion in Narsene City. Nate Green. I wish there was actually audio in these games, so you could actually tell what the scenes are supposed to be. Okay, then uh, head down in this first area. And get your first item. And that's a big root. Ooh, nice. Put that, put that right away in our items case. And again, lots of trainers. Um, pretty much the whole rest of this is either going to be a ranger or a grunt. If you beat the rangers, and I skipped the feeding parts, so don't just think he just gives you berries. You have to eat them. But uh, the rangers all give you berries. And there's quite a few of them in this section, too. Okay, then you come to this item in a hollowed out stump, which is an antidote. And then you're going to get the first, uh, you know, kind of attack ranger. Whoa! Popped out of nowhere! Hello! And when you beat him, he gives you a chesto berry. That is great. And then walk through the, the tree and continue up and around and there's going to be another ranger to pop out at you. Let's fight! Yes, yes, great. Thanks, Dan. Up the tree, fight the grunt. And then um, get this item from this tree trunk, Paralyze Heal. Um, going north through the tree is where the uh, battle to get the dragon skull back, but we're going to go south first to pick up an item. So go down and around to get this uh, TM86 grass knot. Then head north to the tree and we'll fight this grunt for the dragon skull. Just one simple one on one. I believe he's only got one Pokemon. Oh, he's got three. Oh, I am sorry. Pat Rat? We haven't seen that before. Level 14 Pat Rat. I think I'm like 28 just from trying to get everything. So again, this, I mean, this should be a simple battle. If you're fighting all the trainers, you're fighting any kind of uh, wild Pokemon at all, all these trainer battles should be very just boom, boom, boom. Okay, after that, he's going to give you back the Dragon Skull. And uh, there'll be a big conversation. Boom, a bunch of people are going to show up and talk to you. Um, and then Lenore, you'll give Lenore the Dragon Skull back, and in exchange for the Dragon Skull, uh, she'll give you a Moonstone. And then just head to the right and pick up this final item. A miracle seed! Yay! And then we'll be back on the road. Um, you can go south to the town if you want. East is blocked off for now, so we're going to go north to the Sky Arrow Bridge. 
and first uh, talk to this uh, backpacker here. So you can get Quick Claw. Um, if you carry that item, you might attack first, so you know what to do. And then we're going to take uh, Sky Arrow across.